Well, I've got those primrose oxalis everywhere now. They grow around this uh, village and around the neighbourhood and everything. So, and I didn't have any on this on on our on, on our grounds originally. So, I sort of inoculated our grounds with this little weed. So pretty. So lovely. I think it's from South Africa, actually. I'm not sure. I think it is. If you know, please tell me. It's a nice little yellow oxalis of some sort. I love it. I'd have it everywhere. It keeps multiplying as the years go by. Isn't it nice? Let's have a close-up look at it. I call it Primrose Oxalis. I don't know what its actual name is. That's my nickname for it. It's very pretty. It's very pretty to have around. Just growing wild everywhere. Makes the grounds nice in late winter and springtime. Where are you? Show your face. Show your pretty face. There it is. It is very pretty stuff. It is. And I've put it everywhere. It's a little bit primrosy in its own way. Look, here's a whole little woodland of primrose oxalis. A little enchanted woodland. The more the merrier, I say. They're closed up a bit because the sun's not shining on them directly. Aren't they lovely? Swaying. I think I'm glad they're everywhere. I'd rather have weeds I actually like everywhere than weeds I don't like everywhere. That's my view. These ones are even coming up in pots. Lovely, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Primrose oxalis, as I call them. Aren't they gorgeous? They do have a slight perfume too, only very slight. And they certainly attract bees. They do. They do attract bees and they're slightly electric. They've got that slightly fluoro sort of colour about them, which is nice. Lights up a garden. Aren't they wonderful? They're a weed that I would prefer. See, speaking of weeds that I prefer, if you look here, this is our preferred weed, and behind it is this dreadful weed that I don't like. It's called sticky back. It's horrible stuff. It grows everywhere and blankets everything. It's horrible sticky back. It's all sticky too, and it, <laughs> it sticks to everything and it just smothers everything. I'd rather have primrose oxalis everywhere than sticky back. That's what I'd rather. That's me. That's me. That's what I'd prefer. If I'm going to have weeds, I want weeds I like. I think that's fair enough. And sticky back is just so dreadful. Just swallows everything in the end. I'll show you fumetry too. It swallows everything. This pretty weed is called fumetry. 
it's swallowing everything but again it's a weed that I would prefer to have. I would prefer this weed fumitory to sticky back because sticky back is horrible and sticky and takes over everything. This is taking over everything but it's beautiful at least. Still even fumitory is capable of swallowing things. Here's fumitory and it's swallowing a shrub actually. I'll just show you. Here's a shrub and the fumitory is actually swallowing the shrub. Here's fumitory. Not that sticky back beside the fumitory, but I think the fumitory is winning. There's sticky back. And here's beautiful fumitory, isn't it lovely? Look at the fumitory by comparison. That's horrible sticky back that will stick to me. Horrible stuff. And here's fumitory, isn't it gorgeous? Horrible sticky back, yuck. Ladies' bed straw, I think it's also called. It would be all right when it's dried out to stuff a mattress with, yes, but it's so horrible normally. And here we have beautiful, beautiful fumitory. Isn't it wonderful? Better weed to have from an aesthetics point of view. Look at it. Beautiful stuff. Lovely, wonderful fumitory. But let's get back to our primrose oxalis. So I'd rather Primrose Oxalis take over, wouldn't you? It does spread after a while. It does. Primrose Oxalis will spread and make a carpet. Not that it's sticky back, it thinks it's taking over, but it's not. Here's some sticky back fighting it out with the oxalis. But I think in the bigger picture of things, I think fumitry is going to win in the end. There's that dreadful, dreadful sticky back. I hope the oxalis wins, but I don't know about that because sticky back can sort of blanket oxalis, as you can see there. But fumitry can blanket um, sticky back, so. I think I might have to be philosophical in the end and just have pink fumitory everywhere. That would be lovely anyway. Imagine a pink fumitory heathland. Still, look. Once periwinkles get established, nothing can really beat them either. Even sticky back can't get rid of periwinkles. Not really. They can try though, can't they? Look, there's Sticky Back trying to get rid of periwinkles. Trying. That's all Sticky Back there. See? That's Sticky Back trying to take over. But they can never kill the periwinkle because the periwinkle is so tough. And the periwinkle is a perennial. Sticky Backs are only annuals. So this ground here is saturated with periwinkle. I don't know that fumitory could ever kill periwinkle. That's another weed I like, don't you like it? Isn't it lovely? You may as well be philosophical. If weeds are going to be everywhere, you may as well have the ones that you like. If you look carefully here, you can see that the little wild forget-me-nots, that's what I call those little blue weeds, they're being crowded out by sticky back too. See, that's a sticky back, dreadful thing. And it's trying to crowd out all these little blue wildflowers. So, in this case, for the time being, sticky back seems to be taking over 
and supplanting these wildflowers. But in the end, I think Fumitri might win. One day here, everything is going to become a sea of pink Fumitri. It is. It's just going to take over. At least it'll be beautiful, won't it? Fumitri everywhere. In the meantime, I'm going to promote my golden oxalis as well. That's fumitry anyway, and it's taking over. It climbs fences, it's, it's a bit of a vine, it's got tendrils on it, and sort of is half vine, half weed, and it does take over. This video started with us looking at golden primrose oxalis, and that's a nice place to end our video. See you then.